they am artistic gamer 7 and I'm here with a new type of video on my channel so I haven't done one of these before on the channel and I haven't actually really tried to make a, like a recording of doing this but I decided I wanted to give it a try and see how it was liked but it's a creative sim video as you can probably already tell so these five sims that I'm gonna be creating today I took them down if I'm ever basing a sim off of characters from like a game or movies or anything like that I usually literally start with like a clean slate like I remove the, all the makeup I remove the hairstyle the clothes and everything and I do that on all the looks like every day to swimwear and so forth and <laughs> you may actually notice that when I start making these sims I am on the swimwear one because I forgot to move it back to the everyday look and I start doing like the hair and makeup and all that stuff and then I didn't realize that I was still on the swimwear. <laughs> it's not too bad of a fix because basically like the jaw structure, the lips, the noses, the eyes, the ears is already done so like and that doesn't change when you go from swim to every day but all the other stuff once I had it picked out I knew it was pretty easy to go find. But, so that wasn't, that wasn't like a, it was only like a little tiny minor setback. But anyway, basically, to let you know who I am basing these characters off of, uh, there's an app game that I literally play every single day, um, called Monster Super League. And, so these characters are all based off of, in the game you can, you know, collect monsters and they call them Astromons in the game. And, well, they call them both monsters and Astromons. But, um, you collect them, there's five different elements, there's fire, uh, water, wood, light, and dark, and you, some monsters are only in certain elements, and then some of them are in every single element, they have a version for every element, but anyway, I took five monsters and wanted to try to turn them into sims and see how it went, I did one for each element, so the one that is currently being worked on is Balrona, um, she is going to be the fire one. I tried to make their last names in some relation to their element. Like, some of them I even looked up to try to find names or last names that was in reference to the particular element. But, anyway, so, this is Balrona. I did, it does take me a while, you know, to sometimes to choose some things. I tried to get them as close as possible for, like, how they would look as a sim, but because of like some of the hairs I have and don't have and clothes I have and don't have. It was a little hard, but I tried to do it and I actually did like how they turned out. If you play Monster Super League and you have some suggestions of me to do something different or you think they actually look pretty good, let me know in the comments below because I'm actually very curious what other people think. I will be trying to get some pictures put onto the screen that shows how the monsters look. Now they do have three el evolutions, so I'm actually taking all three el evolutions and sort of just going based off of their general looks for all three, like the similarities and stuff like that, and maybe picking and choosing certain characteristics from each one, but for the most part they all look pretty similar. You can tell they're all the same monster, just a different version of it. So it was pretty easy, but I will try to get pictures of the three evolutions to let you know what I'm using to be, like, what I'm basing them off of. But anyway, the second one is going to be Odin. She's going to be representing the water type. Arthur is going to be the third one. He's actually representing the light. The fourth one is going to be Selene, and she's going to be representing wood, while Aphrodite will be representing the dark. I am currently also making them a house. So if you would like me to go play through them in the Towny Life series or make their own series off of them, also please let me know in the comments below about that. Uh, but for the most part, I think that's mostly what I got to say. Oh, there was one thing like that I want to do that I probably will change a little bit later. I downloaded some tattoos right before I did this video, but I had forgot to actually add them into my mods folder. And one of them was a tattoo where you can have dragon wings on your, like, your back. And I wanted to give them to Balrona. And that was the particular reason why I downloaded those. Because in the game she's got like dragon wings 
in the game, but uh, I forgot that, so I probably will be adding that to her later. I do actually still give her some tattoos, just because I feel like if she was a human, like if she was transported into a human or a sim in this case, she would be the type that would probably have tattoos. So, she does get tattoos eventually, but um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that lovely like button and subscribe to see more. If you have any other suggestions of creative sims who, that you would like for me to do, please let me know those in the comments as well, and please share the video. I want to know, like I want other people that play this game to see it, and let me know what they think, because I really, really am curious <laughs> as to what other people think. So, anyway, and I will also have links in the description below to my other Sim series, the County Life, the 100 Baby Challenge, um, Four Mortal Sisters, and the EB Family. Um, I have been saying for quite a while now that there might be an adjustment or a change when it comes to the 100 Baby Challenge, but I haven't actually got to record but one video of the 100 Baby Challenge yet, so I haven't really fully decided or discussed it completely so still just letting you know there might be a change to that one I still haven't fully decided but anyway um, then I will also have uh, information to my Twitter as well as my Instagram and snapchat to go find me on those I am actually on my snapchat quite often and I'm trying to get to be on my Instagram more often than I am I'm starting to actually incorporate Sims related things and I have a lot of Pokemon related things in there already. So you can go find me there and that's about it. I'm going to be letting music play for the rest of it. But in reference to the song, it is actually a song that is from the Sims 4 radio playlist. But I did a little bit of editing, I like reversed it and did a little tweaking here and there, so I want to see if you can figure out what song it is. If so, if you think you know what song it is, leave it in the comments below, and I will let you know if you're correct or not. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>